got the swag, proud of them. Shorty having drip, proud of them. Put it on the jet, out of here. 2024, all year. Call paramedics, killing them. Running up a check, stacking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I cropped the top, Balenciaga. Put it in their face, bend a hundred. Try to have a diamond, spin a hundred. Hit like a party, I ain't going on it. Take the by sticks, I feel better. I see these bugs got a bend at them. Better keep it a bend at them. You ain't seen one, could have pinned better. I think the effort was really good, right? It's spring balls, there's things that we all do that you have to clean up, okay? But as far as the amount of information, amount of plays and things that we have in right now, man, I am very, very happy with, right? Um, so that was practice 15, right? We ended up getting 29 workouts in between that spring ball time and 15 practice, right? So I think you guys did a really, really good job uh, of, uh, of finishing off spring, okay? One of my season expectation goals is um, I think that our coaches are good at preaching about going 1-0 each week last year, so I think that's a goal. And obviously winning State and Valley, that's a big, that's a, one of the goals, but like, just like going one to know, yeah. So my group as a running back, me and uh, Albert Richardson, we're the leader of the group, like the veterans. So like, I would say we're trying to help the young groups for next year. When we're gone, they have to step up and be the leader. So, but offensively, I think we're uh, ahead of what we are last year. And I think that's good. You know, spring ball went really good. I feel like we're better than where we were last, like last season at this point in time. You know, just work and get better every day, and it's, it's, it's going good. Season expectations is just to finally win that last game. You know, these couple past seasons, you know, we we kind of fallen short the like the, towards the end. We're just trying to get there and trying to get better every day and go one and zero every week, like Corday said. Uh, us as an offensive line, we're doing really good. You know, we're just out there. We're teaching the young guys up. Uh, just going out there, trying to be better every day. I feel like spring ball started off a little rocky. Uh, you know, we're going through some growing pains, but uh, we finished strong. Put a lot of stuff in, and I think you know it's going to set us up for a really good summer. Season expectations, man, is just you know taking one day at a time, brick by brick, man, and just you know build on every day, and you know maximize our you know our potential, man. You know, I think this team has a lot of you know high goals, expectations, and I think we could achieve all of them. So you know, just taking it day by day, you know, and helping these you know these guys, you know, going to you know good grown young men. Uh, wide receivers, man, we got a veteran group, we're looking pretty good. Uh, just, you know, working on timings, you know, catching the ball, holding each other accountable, you know, running routes hard and, you know, blocking, you know, for each other. But like I said, we have a pretty bad break. A couple of young guys are trying to get up to speed. But overall, this was a very great spring and we're really excited for summer to go and compete, you know, in these tournaments and 7-on-7s uh, seven as well. Spring ball went well. Um, you know, now that we got, you know, the last couple of weeks, we got everybody back. I mean, it, it starts off a little rocky typically in the beginning, you know, when you have other sports going on. Uh, but once we got all our guys back uh, and on the field and up to speed, you know, it looked like the team was, was really putting it together. Uh, you probably got this answer a lot, but it's always to win the last game of the season. Uh, but for, for me, uh, for the most part, um, it's really just to be who we are, who we're supposed to be on a day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week basis. You know, there was a lot of times last year where we you know, went down to the level of competition at times, and I just want, want to see everybody going hard, full speed, you know, being who they are the entire season. Uh, the DB's position group is going well. Um, definitely a young group, an experienced group. We have one returner, Elijah, uh, who's, who was the defensive player of the year last year. But other than him, uh, we have two returners, but they were injured all last season in, uh, in uh, Sage and Damone. Uh, and we expect really, really big things from those guys this year. Man, I think, I think this is probably one of the best spring balls as far as the finish that we've had in a really long time. Um, the participation and just kind of effort that we've had, you know, this part into May like this. Um, we had 15 spring ball practices and workouts in between. And uh, just as far as the effort and continually getting better through those 15 practices, I think this is the best we've been at this time of year. Man, I think, you know, I think Chase, you know, kind of hit it right on the, you know, right on the head. But 
um, we want to we want to win the last game of the season. I think that's our expectations, you know, and so um, that doesn't come easy. You know, we're not we had a pretty successful season last year, um, but it wasn't good enough for our guys. It wasn't good enough for the staff, and so um, I think we're trying to push the limits a little bit as far as setting the standard right now in spring. That way, we can kind of build off that in the summer as well. Um, but right now we're just taking it one day at a time. We're really, really happy where we're at the end of phase uh, phase two for spring. I think I think the offense. You know, I think we're still getting some new guys to kind of adjust the tempo part of it for us. But um, I think we're really well as far as scheme is what we've got in right now. Uh, defense is being uh, really, really great during spring ball as far as the uh, tenacity, kind of fighting for the football, uh, finishing plays. But we want to be kind of turnover kings, and they've done a really good job of, of showing us that. This guy right here is Coach Johnny Clark. Coach Johnny Clark played for Colorado State. Okay, played linebacker there. He also coached here at Hampton High School. Next guy is Coach Alan Perryman. Uh, coached at Sac State. Okay. In the back, we got Ryan Johnson, played quarterback here in Hanford and at San Jose State. Okay. Uh, got Coach Bryant Fisher, played receiver at Humboldt. Okay. Uh, my brother, Braden Sanchez, played at Nevada, receiver there at Hanford High. Got Caleb Chenault, who played linebacker, is going to be at Sac State this season. Tyler Mello, who played linebacker at Fresno State. And Mason Brousseau, who played defensive line right now at Sac State as well. Okay. Uh, Coach DJ, big man in the white series, going to help with the stretch today, help you guys flying around as well. Um, but we're ready to play some football, okay? So you guys are going to be in that end zone down there. Everybody else is going to be in this end zone right here. Just go get there. Get there. Oh, come on, come on. There it is. There it is. Oh, ready? Here we go. Now we're going to get into some one-on-ones, all right? We're going to go up against each other. We'll have a receiver and a DB. We're playing some man. All right, we'll throw you guys some balls, give you some routes. Let's be competitive. Good? How do you feel about coming back to Hanford High? Uh, it's always great. It's my third year doing it, coming back to this camp. Uh, it's good to see the community come out and uh, be able to coach these kids and have a good day overall, learning some ball. I think today went well. A lot of a lot of learning. That's what it is, you know. These these kids, wide age range of football players, but you know, it's a lot of a lot of kids. Uh, hopefully, they come leave with. Uh, New knowledge of the game of football. How's camp at Sac State been going? Man, it's been going good. Uh, report on Monday for uh, our summer workouts, and then start fall camp in August. But you know, looking to looking to go and get our conference championship back, and hopefully, uh, you know, build and from last year and be a team and a dominant force to make playoffs in, in the Causeway. Yeah. My name's Caleb Smell. I play linebacker at Sac State. How do you feel about coming back to Hanford High? Man, it's always nice coming back here and seeing all the coaches and the familiar faces and saying what's up and catching up with them a little bit. What do you think about today's event? It was really fun. Uh, it was nice seeing all the kids out here, understanding the game of football a little bit more, seeing the kids that could be future pool pups out here and just yeah, no. having a good time. So I actually just committed to SAC on Tuesday, so I haven't been out there yet. I leave yeah. Sunday and uh, hopefully get out there and have some fun. Definitely.